What's going on guys? So we are still out here at the Ford Proving Grounds in Michigan and we're about to take this F450 XL. This is the work truck of work trucks. 450, regular cab. Uh, is this a four wheel drive? This is two wheel drive. Two wheel drive. So yeah, you're talking about max tow because that's what you need, right? Two wheel drive truck, regular cab, eight and a half foot bed. We'll look at the payload numbers on the stickers here in a second. Actually, let's look at that right now. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so we have a sticker here on the door. This 450 has a maximum cargo capacity of 6,419 pounds. This is a beast. Maximum towing capacity, 40,000 pounds on this Towmaster trailer with solar up front and an upper deck, which is really cool. All right, so Jamie, could you take a moment here and tell me what we're loaded up with that makes this trailer? Now we're talking combined weight. So Correct. this trailer, probably by itself, I'm, I'm venturing to say weighs about 6,000 pounds. It, it looks like a pretty dang, or more than that. You're talking about the pin weight? No, just the trailer weight oh, yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the trailer, and there should be a dry, oh, uh, let's see here. I'm not sure exactly where the sticker is, but it'll oh, have one on here this somewhere. This trailer is loaded down with uh, pig iron um, to get to the 40,000 pound weight. Um, that's crazy. So yeah, so this thing is completely loaded up to 40,000 pounds, and that's the total weight, including the trailer as well. So three axle, <laughs> this is a heck of a trailer actually. And uh, yeah, they got it loaded completely down for a total gross combined weight rating, or sorry, gross vehicle weight rating of the trailer at 40,000 pounds. Gross combined weight rating, that's 48, the interesting 000. part. So we're at 48,000 pounds GCWR. That's the weight of the truck and the weight of the trailer well, when combined. When we're in there, we'll be at 48,000 approximately. Okay. So, yep. Well, this is really cool. Well, I'm really excited. Let's hit the road. We got the GoPro mounted and we're gonna see uh, see how this thing handles 40,000 pounds. 40, Who would have ever thought a class three pickup truck could ever haul 40,000 pounds? We're only, a, we're only not that far away from what a commercial semi truck would haul. We're really close. So yeah, this is crazy. Anyways, let's hop inside and take this thing on the road. Let's go. And for those of you who say they will never buy a truck with push button start, when you get a work truck, you can get a standard key still. You don't have to get push button start if you if you don't want to, unless you go to a super high trim truck. That's really where it comes standard. Um, but yeah, on all of these work trucks, it's going to have a, a regular key, right? Yep. For all those folks who will never want a truck with push button start, it's not required. Got our trailer brake controller here. Have a 12 volt cigarette style adapter. That is really cool. Some of you guys know I am not a fan of trucks that have removed this, and I like that. USB, USB C. Got another one here. Oh, another one right there. And then you also have. Another Two device. more USB-C connections right there. We got our new drive mode uh, button, which we'll show you. Yeah, very That's cool. Nice. All right, let's start the truck up first. All right, I'm gonna slide my seat up here a little bit. Again, work truck, so manual seat for those of you who don't want a power seat. Still have a nice tilting steering wheel, which is nice. All right, so real quick before we take off, anything you wanna talk about or show me? Um, yeah, so we got our uh, new drive mode switch, so you can scroll through the modes. Um, Let's see here. And this, since this is just the basic truck, uh, uh, you don't get a lot of features that you do on, like, say, a Lariat. Well, that's more than what I get on my, my current King Ranch. Um, or at least trail yep. settings, slippery roads, normal. Tow haul, I think, is what we want to be and in. And we put new um, diesel measurements in the cluster, so you can now see your DEF level, um, your DPF level. Uh, your boost, your um, exhaust brake percentage, stuff like that. So Very, very nice. All right, so when you go to tow haul mode, it looks like it, it engages the uh, engine exhaust brake? Yes. Okay, well, that's really cool, so you don't have to select a yeah, Here's your exhaust brake. You can, you can pick uh, an auto mode or full on, so it's up to you. Okay, so let's do full on. Press it once. Okay, so now, right now it's on automatic. Yep. One more time. Press it one more time, and now the yep. engine brake is on. Because yep. why tow this heavy if you're not going to have fun with the engine brake? Very cool. Again, two 12-volt outlets right up here. And some people may say, why do you need that? It's because cameras, things you might want to add to the vehicle, aftermarket stuff, radar detectors, stuff like that. Anyways, we're going to hit the road. These are the manual, so they're, they're already pulled up. Okay, so the mirrors are already extended. Again, work truck, this has manual extending mirrors. Um, they're in good position. Definitely want to check that out as well. Check my rear view mirror. All right, so 
James, tell me where to go. Okay, we're gonna head up uh, and make a right behind this uh, Raptor R. Okay. How, how often do you get to say that when you're driving? We're just gonna make a right <laughs> behind this Raptor R. Not very often. All right. So it looks like we got uh, the 7.3 going up there, so let me just get behind him. Oh, that's a pretty boat. Yep. It's a nice combo, that color. That is. So don't be afraid to give it the beans. cool truck. I mean, oh, here, there, there it kicks in. Yeah. yeah, this truck's really stable with this weight. Like, um, you're going to be pretty impressed. Honestly, um, I'm surprised I'm not getting more of a, of a chucking feel. Yeah. So now we're coming up to a stop sign and hit the brakes. I'm sure you got them dialed in pretty good. Yeah, you can adjust the gain if you want. I mean, I think I got it at nine, nine and a half. Oh yeah, the brakes are doing a good job yeah. on the trailer. We're clear. So we're just basically going to go through this uh, uh, turnaround loop here. Okay. And we're going to go up a 7% grade. All right. Again, these 450s are so cool because they combine so much capability into a truck that is very drivable, very maneuverable. It's it's one thing to say you have a, a huge Peterbilt or you have this huge Volvo or you have some big tractor and you have capability there. It's expected. But to see what you get out of these trucks is really insane. So we're just way? gonna turn here. Follow the red truck. So just turn right here. Yep, turn right around. Yep. Okay. Through the traffic circle. Now, to be honest, you you know the trailer's back there. You can tell you're hauling something really heavy. Um, I, I always tell people you never want to not know you're hauling a heavy trailer, but you right. definitely can tell you're hauling weight. But yeah, it handles it very well. Yep. So this is seven percent great. So you can uh, give it all it has. I'm not expecting a sport car acceleration nope. with 40,000 pounds behind you. But it's not really not lacking for power with this high output engine. It, it right. really isn't. So I got the pedal completely down. We're at 41 miles per hour. Relatively smooth ride. When I say that, it's just we're in a 450 and it's a regular cab. So every truck like this is going to have a, a bit of a heavier feel to it. Come back down later so you can see the downhill performance. All right, you clear. This will be a little downhill section so you can uh, test out the uh, downhill braking. Okay, so I'm going to tap the brake so it only engages. There we go. Your brakes kicking in. So I am off the brake completely. Got 40,000 pounds pushing on me. Definitely slows the trailer down well, but if you uh, if you ride it like that for too long, it'll probably speed up a little bit on you. But it definitely keeps the truck manageable and compliant. A lot less effort for the brakes. And you guys can probably hear it, so I'm not changing the sound here at all. You guys are getting a very real uh, experience of how this truck actually tows. Yeah, you're gonna get 100% uh, braking at 3750 engine speed. Okay. So, so if you really need to, you can manually downshift to get to that point. Got it. So you're going to go straight. Again, full. Yep, you can't trip the tires. Yeah, wow. <laughs> 40,000 pounds behind you. Yep. That was full acceleration and uh, with quite a bit of weight on the tongue, and I was still able to break <laughs> the tires loose. That wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah, you can even do it on the hill, too. So if you want to stop on the hill, you'll, so, get, you'll get a little trip on there. So when you get 1,200 pound feet of torque, that's what you get in return. So you're going to make a left, it's a one way. Okay. Now 
know, yeah, it, it, it tows this trailer very compliantly. I don't want to say effortlessly, because you know you're towing yep. it. You, you know you got a lot of weight back there. But, boy, it handles it as if it were half that weight. Yep. And this, the short wheelbase tow vehicle does hurt a little bit in terms of the ride quality. But, um, you know, it's built to, to tow the heaviest trailer. So, yeah. there, there's got to be some compromises in there. Seats are very comfortable. That's... Man, I, you know, after now owning a GMC and having a Denali and feeling like those seats are just not a comfortable seat. These seats being even in a work truck, they're comfortable. They're really comfortable seats. Well, people are going to be sitting in them for a long time, so you don't yeah. want them to be uh, uncomfortable. And these are arguably the, not arguably, these are the least expensive seats you can get yep. in a Super Duty. This is an XL trim, vinyl seats, vinyl floors. You still get the 8-inch display and a lot of technology. This road, I'm glad we actually took this road because whenever you're hauling a big RV or big trailer, a lot of times the roads to get to where you want to go are like this. And I really wanted to kind of experience that. Now it's going to be interesting when we hop into a crew cab variation and we see how that feels. Boy, it just got a lot rougher. Yep. <laughs> Still not too bad, though. Not bad at all. No, I'm... Well, brother, I'm used to driving an F450, yep. so when you understand what, what these trucks drive like, what they're supposed to drive like because of the springs, because of the capability on, in them, you, you, you understand what type of ride to expect. And this truck is more compliant, and it actually feels uh, smoother... And, and I, I know that's a hard thing to say whenever you, you're in an F450, but when you've driven one, you understand what you're talking about. You can tell when a truck is driving rough. And this truck's not driving rough. It's firm, but it's not rough. So it's funny, you know, earlier we made a video talking about the F450 and some of the difference between it and an F350 and the tires arguably being one of the big, biggest differences in terms of the ride quality or the ride comfort. Um, this is one of those areas that if you really care about how smooth the truck rides, yet you need the most capable truck you can get, then the F350 Dually might be the right truck for you because it is going to feel smoother on roads like this. The tires are going to be a lot more compliant and they're going to they're going to be more squishy. They're going to act as a rubber airbag better than these commercial tires that they put on an F450. Inverted potholes. This is not bad. I, I'm, I'm like smiling right now because I was expecting this to feel a lot worse. It's rough, but it's very manageable. And I don't know if I've ever seen an inverted pothole before until now. Is that what I read properly though? Yeah. Inverted? Okay. Yeah, just making sure. So you're gonna go in the first spot here, uh, this first set of cones. They go by weight, so that way you're okay. And this regular cab with the wide turn radius is just, it's amazing for oh, yeah. turning. You really can do anything with it. Well, this has been awesome. I really appreciate it. We're going to hop in the next truck in line, which is a crew cab 450. And uh, how much weight do we have on that one? Uh, they're 30K. 30K on yep. that one. So that's going to be more like a very large fifth wheel. It's a little shorter and lower profile, but we're going to hop into that one. Anyways, we're going to wrap this video up, guys. Okay, so there you have it, and one last final look at the outside of this beast, 40,000 pounds on it. Again, this is a short wheelbase truck, uh, so the ride 
and the uh, dynamics of this truck are going to be a little different. So next video, we're going to be behind the wheel of this absolutely beautiful F450 Limited hauling 30,000 pounds of weight. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.